For me, biography is a lantern burning in the midst of parenthetical opaqueness. In a sense, it is a ruse, a phantasmic meandering, brighter or dimmer, according to the eclectic happenstance of terror. Where it does it process the caffeine. So, you know, the, it's part of the poetry. Hey, I'll stop right hey. now. Hey! Me, I've been sired an anomaly, in an imagery of brewing grenadine riddles. A parallel poesis spawned from curious seismographic molten. I say curious because the original stalking arc has disappeared into the wilderness of an a priori blizzard, which gives birth to a level like a portal of fire conjoined with the lightning field of mystery. I call it the poetic guardian dove, the hieratic alien wing. Los Angeles is about a hundred million glints of the chandelier. You know, it's, it's never one thing. It is the non-local field, the non-particle acid flowing into my cognitive iodine rays, into the vicious fires of my tarantella marshes. So I dance with vibration, with the solar arc spinning backward around the miraculous force of a double green horizon. Simultaneously, I escape the territorial while remaining within the burning loops of my own momentary seizures, guarded by ferns, legs plowing land, the face and the mind guided by stars. Which is typical of the situation. So, it's like fighting an uphill battle all the time. But, you know, when you, I call it burning through rock. You, you take the long way around to, in order to get the desired reality. So I am a martyr of drills, of spates of specific lingual flooding, casting at times a mist or a mirage like a caravan of yaks, transporting tungsten and water. Conversely, to give a graph of dates, to single out a bevy of personal social lesions would invert me, which turned me around a diurnal bundle of glass staggered with a less than fiery temperature, partially nulling my sensitivity to falling phonemic peppers, to the inclination towards victory which burns in the dawn above heaven. For me, this is the green locale, the pleroma of eternal solar essence glinting, full of fabulous maelstrom diamonds, an empowered hygiera of drift of claustrophobic rainbow spectrums, which empty themselves and return to themselves, like having an image go out and return to itself so that its power transmutes by the very energy of its looping. And I think of myself, the poet, sending signals into mystery and having them return to me with oniric wings and spirals. So much so that I forget my prosaic locale with its stultifying anchors, with its familiar dotage and image reports, with its dates inscribed in a trapezoidal feces. I am only concerned with simultaneity and height, with rays of monomial kindling guiding the neocortex through ravens into the ecstasy of x-rays and blackness.